play Titans hold on for win over Colts 136 DeMarco Murray runs in a go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter to give the Titans a 2016 lead they would not relinquish. 136 November 26, 2017 Indianapolis It's not a Tennessee Titans win if it isnt ugly or difficult to both, as we've learned this season. Safety Kevin Bayard said the defense takes pride in picking up the slack for the offense. That was exactly the story Sunday, when they prevented a disastrous loss, pulling out a 2016 victory over the Indianapolis Colts with a relentless pass rush that delivered eight sacks and stingy play in the red zone. We have no problem putting the team on our backs, Bayard said. We have to be the best defense to win ball games. We were Sunday and I feel like we have to continue to do that to win ball games. Marcus Mariota and the Titans' offense played poorly for more than three quarters. A non-existent running game and struggling offensive line put all the pressure on Mariota, who followed his worst NFL game at Pittsburgh with a two-interception day at Indianapolis. But the Titans got the first ever win at Lucas Oil Stadium and the first road win against Colts since 2007. Marcus Mariota threw two interceptions in the Titans' win over the Colts in Week 12, app photo Michael Conroyzo who are the Titans. They're a 74 team, likely headed to the playoffs if they don't combust in their final five games, which is still a possibility. They would have taken this record if given the opportunity to start the season, but the method of getting there has been less than impressive. Reaching the playoffs was always goal number one, and they're on the way, but then what? It's hard to answer why Mariota, a rising third-year quarterback, has hit the worst slump of his career. His 12 interceptions are already a career high, compared to just nine passing touchdowns. Mariota has eight interceptions in his past four games after throwing just four in his first six games. Sunday was his fourth straight game with an interception, matching a career-long streak. After the game, Mariota took complete ownership of the interceptions, calling them poor throws. Left tackle Taylor Lewin and tight end Delaney Walker agreed that type of play wanted to well against playoff teams in January. We have to have a sense of urgency in the beginning, Lewin said. We can't make those mistakes in the future. It'll come back to bite us like it did in Pittsburgh. Mariota led his fourth game-winning comeback of the season by trusting a run game that had just three yards on 13 carries after three quarters. Derek Henry got 52 of the Titans' 77 yards on six touches, showing his physicality and power while the Colts were worn down. DeMarco Murray got the go-ahead touchdown on the goal line. Tennessee's offensive line was happy that offensive coordinator Terry Robeski trusted them to keep running the ball. That patience, along with Robeski chewing them out at halftime, paid off on that last drive. We're one of them teams that finished, Walker said. We may start slow, but we finish strong. Statistics Scoreboard 2017 Schedule Results Standings The Titans showed Sunday they can get enough on defense and, eventually, from Henry 13 carries 79 yards to carry the offense to the playoffs, but we'll have to see Mariota and the overall run game get out of the slumps to make any noise when they get there. The game turned on a Marlon Mack dropped pitch from Jacoby Brissett when the Colts were up 166. Bayard scooped it up for his eighth takeaway of the season and one play later Mariota hit Delaney Walker for a touchdown. Walker did a CPR celebration after what was his first touchdown of the season, it represented the revival the Titans needed in the second half to get the win. Daquan Jones, Eric Walden, Brian Arakpo, Jarrell Casey and the rest of the Titans' front seven were vicious up front, beating up the Colts' offensive line holding the Colts to three field goals in the red zone, instead of touchdowns, made all the difference. The Titans will have to figure out soon if this is just who they are, or if they can turn things around to become more than just a one-and-done playoff squad.